Hey guys, Ryan here again, coming to you from Covert GMC Cadillac, <clears throat> and I'm out here looking at Yukon Denali's, actually testing a new mic as well. So there's a few out here, but the reason I wanted to look at the Yukons was because they have a diesel motor still, and I've always liked diesel. So I wanted to know your thoughts on GMC's diesel. I don't see any out here right now. These all look like V8s, but they look good. I like the Yukon Denali. I like Chevy Suburbans too. But just let me know your thoughts on these new ones and, the, and most importantly, that diesel motor. Look at this AT4 over here. A little more off-road capable like the front looks good good wheels good size but I'm, I'm super curious about their diesel reliability mileage if i were to get one it would be a car that would stick with me for a really long time you know and so i hope that that diesel motor is solid the white looks good but really nice dealership October 1st out here. So the weather's getting a little better in Texas. It was so hot for so long, had to take a little breather from filming. There's the dealership, really nice guys here. I've chatted with them for a while. Always friendly, beautiful dealership, beautiful location, Hill Country, Texas. But yeah. Looking at some Yukons, the only thing that I ever, that I don't really like on the, the Yukon is that rear suspension looks really low. Have you ever noticed that? Look at that. Not much clearance there. Let me know your thoughts on that. If that's a concern or it doesn't matter. Or even why they did that. I think they did it for ride quality, just the shape of it. But they look good on the outside. Got the sun coming out. Let's go look, compare the, so that was just a regular Yukon. Let's go look at the rear suspension on the AT4, see the difference. But again, guys, I'm looking at the diesels. I don't, I don't see a diesel out here. Let's make sure it's a little retention pond. Make sure I don't fall in that, but let's look at the suspension. It's a good drop, so I'm gonna be careful. So here's the AT4 rear, just to give you an idea. Solid 20 foot. Let's look at the rear suspension here. So it looks the same on the AT4. So that bothers me a little, but other than that, I'd like to see a little more clearance. But yeah, guys, Ryan here, coming to you from Covert, GMC and Cadillac. Awesome dealership. Been really impressed with General Motors interiors lately. These new Denali's are drastically different than uh, the ones from 20 years ago, interior quality wise. Um, but yeah, guys, give me some, some ideas on that diesel motor. I wish there was a diesel here. I'll keep looking. But it looks like all V8s. There's the used lot. This one looks nice and white. Let's see what... I think they put the Duramax logo on the side on the diesels. Let's see what the sticker is. Yeah, 6.2 V8. 100K right now. And I'm definitely open to the Chevy version of it. So GMC AT4 up there. Thanks again, guys. Just gonna look around. If I run across a diesel, I will do another video. But most importantly, if you could give me your opinions on GMC's diesel motor for either the GMC Yukon or the Chevy Suburban. And just overall thoughts on the car, quality, reliability but 
Thanks again, guys. And if you get a chance, if you're in the hill country west of Austin, I'd definitely check out Covert, man. They've always been nice to me. Super friendly guys, very clean dealership, professional people in every way. Thanks again, my friends. Give me a like, give me a follow, and until next time, bye-bye.